A hat trick for the Prime Minister, but not the good type. Three reports released in just one day paint a devastating picture of life in Canada after nine years of this NDP Liberal government. Food Banks Canada, the Salvation Army and the Parliamentary Budget Officer all say there is more homelessness and there is more hunger. They kept telling us that they're spending our money for their own, for our own good, and everything is fine, and it's not their fault, Mr. Speaker. It's been nine years. Right. Whose fault is it? Yeah. The Honourable yeah. Parliamentary yeah. Secretary. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, grocery price inflation is coming down. 1.4% in April, down from 1.9% a month before. This is encouraging news, certainly for Canadians, but it's important to know that our government put forward the most comprehensive package of competition reforms in Canadian history. Why? Because more competition equals better prices. But it's a bit rich for the Conservatives to point to food bank lineups when they oppose a national school food program that's going to feed over 400,000 kids across Canada. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. And nine years later, it hasn't fed a single child. They just don't get it. The very policies that they have delivered has given us the worst quality of life in half a century, the worst since the last Trudeau ran this place. In the past three months, 25% of young adults have had to go to a food bank in this country, 38% more homelessness after they promised to end it, and about 50% of Canadians are worse off this year than they were last year. How does this government have so much money to spare while ordinary Canadians are literally going hungry and homeless? Yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Quite the statement from the Deputy Leader of the Conservative Party. My advice to her is to actually read the report from the Parliamentary Budget Officer. In that report, she will see that no less than 50,000 Canadians are supported by the National Housing Strategy, specifically the Reaching Home program that they would cut. We know they champion an austerity agenda. This also from the Deputy Leader, who made clear only a few weeks ago on a yacht, no less, Mr. Speaker, that less homes have to be built in Canada. They're siding with the NIMBYs. We want to build more homes, including for the most vulnerable of this country, Mr. Speaker. Excellent.